Bennett College is the only HBCU in our area that's expected to apply for this grant. A&T says it hasn't made an official decision, and WSSU says it has no plans at this time. Two HBCU schools will earn $100,000 each. These are some of the pictures Bennett College shared from its archive. Images of everyday life at school. Graduation, the basketball team, the choir, volunteers working to get out the vote. Most people would not know the talent that comes out of these our schools and the number of doctors, lawyers, leaders that have come out of um, historically black colleges and universities. And this is gonna, this again, ties it all together to me. The first woman and first African-American to head up the Peace Corps, Carolyn Payton, is a Bennett Bell. So too is Greensboro's first African-American woman to serve as mayor, Yvonne Johnson. HBCUs exist as a moniker of that type of resiliency in our country today. And uh, any types of photographs that, 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 that help us get to those stories are going to be really inspiring for this generation. Media giant Getty Images and the philanthropic group Stand Together say they plan to spend half a million dollars to digitize 100,000 pictures, creating a standalone HBCU photo collection. We're executives, we're coders, we're scientists, content creators, educators, doctors, we're visual artists, and we're even the vice president of the United States. One of the most inspiring HBCU stories features Vice President Kamala Harris, a graduate of Howard University. Organizers say there's demand for pictures from HBCUs right now, giving schools a needed revenue stream. Some of the money raised will go to the United Negro College Fund for scholarships. Schools like Bennett say they see this opportunity as a way to share their story. Again, as we can put more of these stories out, it, it helps to shape, you know, and tell the story of the history of historically black colleges and universities and their real impact in, uh, to our, our society and to our country. The deadline to apply for the Getty Images Archive grants is the end of this month. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WII 12 News.